What's going on guys, Giant Killer here. We are back here at Signature Fitness. Uh, we are 13 weeks out from the 2020 Mr. Olympia. Here we're about to train some back. Now a lot of people like to train, you know, certain areas of the back. Like either width day, uh, thickness day. For me, when I train back, I train the entire back, top to bottom. Um, you guys are in for a real treat. Today's a high carb day. See a lot of heavy weight being thrown around today. So make sure you guys stay tuned. Uh, make sure if you haven't done so already, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell for more content coming soon. Enough talking, let's get to work. All right guys, first exercise we're gonna be doing today is pull-ups. Uh, if you ask anybody who has a great back, they're gonna tell you nine out of 10 times how they built their back with what pull-ups. Now I'm gonna do something a little different today. I'm gonna actually do my pull-ups assisted. And the reason why I do mine assisted is because as I get through the workout doing pull -up, regular pull-ups, I start to a little bit jerk a little bit, kind of get the motion going. I use a lot more of my forearms, my delts, my bicep, which I don't want to do. I want to just focus directly on my lats. So by doing them assisted, I can keep the tension directly on my lats the whole entire time. No jerk and movement and keep all of that tension directly where it needs to be. Same thing here, keep your chest nice and high. Pulling through with the lats. Using her four fingers as hooks. Elbow drive directly into here. Good stretch at the bottom, big speed at the top. Uh, a lot of you guys. Donkey kick. Yeah, donkey kick. I'm sure a lot, of, a lot of people are probably saying, you know, I'm cheating or it's not cool to do the assistant version of the pull up. But let's be real here. I'm not here to be cool. I'm not here to impress anybody. I'm here to train the muscle and get it to improve and grow. Now, I've been doing regular normal pull ups for years. Just throwing my weight up, throwing weight up. Nine out of ten times, I'm working more on my biceps, forearms, and the shoulders and very little back. I'm older, I'm wiser now, and I know that in order to improve, you gotta change your mind, your, mind, your way of thinking, and your exercises. So again, pull up, uh, assisted pull-ups are definitely the way to go. In fact, one of the best bodybuilders of all time, 10-time Miss Olympia, Iris Powell, is the one that sat down with me last year at the Olympia, and she told me firsthand how she grew her back while she was doing assisted pull-ups before all her workouts. So for that conversation till now, I've been doing them every single workout. One thing I guys want you to notice here when I do my pull-ups, um, two things. One, I don't like to actually grab the actual bar using my fist. I use the four fingers here, use them as hooks. And you can see my thumbs are actually kind of just hanging out. I want to use my hands as hooks and kind of drive the elbows up. And two, I want to make sure I keep my sternum nice and high. So you're going to see a slight arch in my back, keep my chest high. I'm going to get my chest all to the bar. So again, hands as hooks, sternum high, pull your lats to the bar. Alright guys, so the last one nice and warmed up. Now we're getting through some heavy compound movements. Moving into first thing is gonna be T-bar row. Now you can see my, my T-bar row has various uh, handles. Supinated, pronated, neutral grip, 
I'm gonna go with more of the semi uh, pronated grip, so I'm getting a little bit more arch here. Drive my elbows here. A little focus directing the lats. here we did one uh, warm up set and we did two feeder sets now our feeder sets are pretty much kind of filling the weight out five and six reps the weight's not too heavy it's going to feel the weight um so my first warm set was one plate um, my feeder set was two plates my second feeder set coming up right now is going to be three plates and we'll start working around four or five plates Begins. Start adding some weight. Get the reps a little bit higher between eight and ten reps. Uh, the first set from four plates. I expect it to be decent. We'll get probably ten reps here, and then we'll work our way up to about uh, five plates. Gotta be careful of. I guess they didn't build this with expectations that someone goes super heavy because it's actually not bolted down. So if I let this thing go, I'm flipping over. So when I get to five plates, I'm gonna have my girl stand here at the end. Well, we got this on video just in case yeah, it does happen. That. Cut that out. <laughs> All right, so this is gonna be a final set. Um, but like always, I like to make shit hard. The harder the better. I always tell myself I gotta do some extra, do more than what everybody else is doing. So I'm gonna take these five plates here, for as many reps as I can. I'm gonna shoot for eight to ten. I'm gonna have my girl strip a plate and keep going. I tell her pull another plate. We'll keep going. I'm just gonna keep going until I fucking can't move anymore. That's it.
It's true. Shit, tell us how you really feel. I can't fucking breathe. Holy shit. Ooh. You see that? You take his breath away. Every time he sees you. Shit. Fuck, man. Damn. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Putting those, uh. Ooh. Extra calories at work today. around a lot of people. So guys, we're moving into the next exercise. Dumbbell rows. I'm very basic. I'm old school. Dumbbell rows, barbell rows, T-bar rows. That's how you're gonna see it for me. That's what's worked for me over the years. That's what's built my base. And uh, I try to get better and better and stronger at those particular movements. So again, dumbbell rows has been a staple of mine since I began bodybuilding. Um, so we'll continue to work with that. Continue to progress. Again, get stronger and stronger in our movement. And obviously improve the lats, the thickness, and the width. here and down here. So that's the same direction once you the dumbbell. Forward, back. Pull it right to that back pocket.
I heard the Olympia was calling your name. I got one goal. The night to hear Bob, Bob Chicarello call my name with the last man standing. Bob, if you hear me? Giant killer, last man standing. Let's go. Shit do not feel good. What it ain't supposed to feel good. Pain is temporary though. There's a light at the end of this tunnel. That's calling my name. What are we doing? Alright guys. Moving into my third exercise, we're gonna do chest supported rows. Um, we're going to do a straight pelvic grip overhand. Now I want to focus more on the mid to upper uh, back with a little bit of lat. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to drop this seat a little bit lower than usual. So my stomach, uh, actually my chest is going to be more so into the pad. So I'm pulling more upper here versus lower here. We're focusing more of the mid to upper part of the back. So we actually drop the seat for a little bit. So now her stomach is actually into the actual pad. And as you see here, she's dropping her elbow straight across this upper pad here. So we're all working directly right here. So now I'm a final set here of uh, chest supported rows, but I just want to stop and thank you guys, all you guys who have followed my channel, subscribed recently, checked out my latest videos, um, left a comment, which I greatly appreciate. You guys don't realize it, but you guys motivate me, keep me pushing forward, knowing you guys are watching and keeping me on my toes. So to all you subscribers, thank you so much. And for anyone who hasn't followed yet, make sure to subscribe to my channel. 
uh, hit the notification bell, drop a comment, drop a like. And guys, please let me know what you want to see next. I want to provide you guys as much content as possible as we gear up for the 2020 Mr. Olympia. Let's get to work. This set's for my subscribers. Let's go. Get up, motherfucker. Go. 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 That was for you. For my subscribers, that was for you. Alright uh. right, guys, now moving into another movement. Another great mass movement for the overall back thickness from top to bottom. Uh, rack pulls. Uh, let me just kind of just give you kind of back backstory a little bit. Now back in my early days to compete, when I first started competing, I was big into deadlifts. Love deadlifts. I think they're the most brutal but taxing and, and good good uh good workout for your entire back. Um, unfortunately, I'm unable to do it anymore because in 2007, I herniated two of my discs in my back doing stiff leg deadlifts. Uh, about a year and a half of just getting treatment, cortisone shots, massage therapy, the whole nine yards, just to kind of be able to get my back to where I can train again. Um, unfortunately, you know, after getting all the treatment done, my back was still never the same. And let's be real, anytime you hurt something, it's never gonna be 100% ever again. Um, so unfortunately, to this day, I'm unable to do deadlifts because my back will go out in a matter of seconds. Um, as time went on, being able to add deadlifts, I learned how to do other exercises, such as um, hyperextensions and uh, rack pulls. Now, rack pulls is a great movement. I actually love them. This is one exercise I can do for my lower back and actually entire back without any type of pain whatsoever. Um, personally, I like these better than deadlifts anyway because if I'm focusing just on my back, I want to do a rack pull because I'm pulling from maybe knee to shin level, and coming all the way up and focusing directly on my back. Whereas the actual deadlift, starting at the floor, I'm getting a lot of the hamstrings, a lot of glute work, and also lower back. So depending on what you want, and what you're focusing on, um, if you want overall, you know, top to bottom, deadlifts is the way to go. Um, but if you want to focus just directly on the back itself, and if or you have back issues, give rack pulls a try. You'll love them. Come on, you got this? Got this. Come on. Ready. All or nothing. Otherwise, you're not going to Olympia with us. You're <laughs> going yeah. home. Fuck, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Are you coming to Vegas with us? Oh, of course. Of course. Sin City, we're doing this. You want to put it on while you're filming me? Look at this. Look at this. You didn't say it. You didn't mention it. Do this. Let's do this. If he wins the Olympia, I'm going to steal a tiger. I'm going to steal a tiger in Vegas. A tiger? A tiger. We're going to make it like hangover. Yeah, of course. What happens in Vegas? That's why we're a wolf pack. Still warming up here. Um, again, like every exercise, I always like to feel the weight out before I get into my heavier, uh, heavier uh, weight. Um, if you know, you're probably wondering why I'm pulling again. Why I'm pulling so high up? You know, this is kind of where I'm most comfortable. Again, anything lower than my knees, I'm putting a lot of pressure on my back. And again, with the two herniations I've got, it's just not feasible. Um, it's not worth the risk of, of uh, injuring that again because 
once my back goes out again, it's, it's months before I'm actually healed up and before I can train again. Again, with the Olympic coming up, it's just not worth it. You know, they gotta think about the risk award. It's not, it's not, it doesn't pay off. So. So this is on my, my first official working set, shooting for five reps here. And uh, see how this goes. And uh, maybe go to five plates, six plates, we'll see. As you can see, there's no bouncing up and down. There's no momentum here. We want to get the weight up, put it down, rest it, reset, and pull again. None of that cheating, bouncing up and down shit. Oh yeah. How'd that feel? Ooh, man, that's painful. Blame Brandon. Guys, we are now gonna finish up the workout with pullovers. Um, just kind of stretch things out. Um, you can do this various ways with the machine, uh, using a cable, obviously, dumbbells. Um, today, when you use cables, again, I'm gonna kind of just set myself in position, stretch my arms out, get a good stretch, and kind of drive through, and really squeeze everything, opening, open it up, squeeze it back, and again, just kind of stretch everything out. I grab the worst fucking attachment that makes the worst noise ever. But it is, it is. Once I start something, I finish it, no matter what. Yeah. I thought we don't do like all their 
<laughs> you wouldn't mind. I don't know if you guys picked this up or noticed it at all, but when I come all the way down here, I have to kind of drive my chest forward. So I'm here, as I'm coming down, I'm lifting my chest and kind of squeezing and trying to get a lot more contraction in my lat, releasing it here. And again, once I'm coming down, I'm driving my lat, my chest all the way up forward and getting even deeper contraction in my lats. So check it out. So that is a wrap here at Signature Fitness, back day in the books. Just under 13 weeks out from the 2020 Mr. Olympia 212 showdown. Guys, I appreciate you all subscribing and checking out all my videos. I hope you guys are enjoying it. So all those who haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell, just so you know exactly when my videos are dropping. And please leave a like and drop me a comment. Let me know what you want to see next on my channel. Guys, until then, stay safe and I'll see you all soon.